Hello everybody, Global Shark here. I'm here to talk about what happened on Monday Night Raw. Smackdown, tonight, tonight's Raw was pretty good. It was good. I mean, you have the thing between Brock Lesnar and our true thing, the segment, and then the Mojo Rally thing. Hey. I don't have to say this, we all needed a good laugh. And we did! We got a good laugh out of it. But I am going to say this. If Brock Lesnar wins, if for no reason, WWE lets Brock Lesnar win the whole entire Royal Rumble match, I swear to God, I am going to flip, I am going to go nuts, and I'm just, I, I, I'm just going to raise fucking hell. Because tr truly, to be honest, I'm getting sick and tired of them cuddling and everything to Brock Lesnar. I'm getting sick of it. Okay? Yeah, part-timer. They want, they had to do a lot of negotiating with his contract so they could get that big, giant, muscle-headed motherfucker Back in the WWE, they did, and look what happens. He's WWE champion, and now he only appears whenever he wants to appear, whatever his damn contract says. I am getting fucking sick and tired of them praising fucking Brock Wrestling, coddling him. I don't give a goddamn rat's as to what they offered him on his contract whatsoever. It's bullshit. And this is what's making the WWE Universe angry. That's what's making the Universe upset. Okay? When they had Brock Lesnar interfere in the damn ladder match. Everybody hated that because it was bullcrap. Then... That match with him and Coffee Kingston to win the WWE title, that was bullshit. They just didn't want Coffee Kingston to be champion anymore. That's bullshit. They should have let him go longer. Everybody, you know, but no. They want somebody bigger to bring in the box, and that's Brock Lesnar. And I don't think he brings the money. He's not the damn, he should not be the face of the WWE. But tonight's Raw was good. In the beginning, I thought it was just going to be Randy Orton and AJ Styles. But no, McIntyre came out, demanded to go out uh, against Orton and AJ Styles and a triple threat match. And we got that. And that match was great. It was awesome. Without a shadow of a doubt. And everybody liked it. The universe liked it. I even liked it. You know? I even liked it. Just two things. Two things I freaking hate. About. But I'm not going through that yet. I like that match between Alistair Black and Buddy Murphy. The third match that they had, and they bring out the, like the best in each other without a shadow of a doubt. But it, but it, it almost won, just by that much. But Alistair Black, but Alistair Black got his foot on the bottom rope, rope bottom ropes, and that stopped the referee's count. He almost got away with it with the hand of with the handful of tights, but. Referee caught him. Like right down when the referee was coming down for his three referee looked around and saw him and he has a hand, had a handful of tights. And boy, those guys stole the show again. Now the uh oh a couple oh yeah, the two matches that I hate. Besides the ending of the show that I hate because it was freaking short. They had to squeeze that match in somehow because the match between Buddy Murphy 
and Alistair Black took long. You know, so they had to squeeze that match in and try to make it as short as possible so it doesn't prolong. So, that was bullshit. The second bullshit is the freaking Bobby Lashley and Rusev thing. A second time that Lashley and Rusev go at it and fucking outside in France, whatever, Rusev looks away and, you know, that's it. It's, it's stupid. That was it. Another thing that pisses me off, and this is not the top of it. The other thing that pisses me off is that they had the Singh brothers come out and go up against the Viking Raiders. I was hoping that it wasn't the OC again because I'm getting tired. I was getting a little bit tired seeing OC going up against the Viking Raiders. I was hoping that it would be the Street Profits or other tag team again that might come up. But no, we get the Singh Brothers. And I was hoping, I said, okay, now I'm hoping that the OC was out here or the Street Profits. Not the damn Singh Brothers. They act like freaking goofballs and they want to be taken seriously? I know that WWE wants to act them and have them act like goofy and all, but I mean, come on. I, 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 I can't even do anything like that if it's on my contract. And the last thing that pisses me off, the last thing that pisses me off, for week after week after week, not counting Mojo Rowley, but they had, once again, Eric Rowan go up against a nobody. I'm getting tired of this shit. Give Eric Rowan some goddamn competition. This is getting ridiculous. I'm getting sick and tired of these rising superstars that comes up and they wrestle against nobodies. I mean, oh, come on. Sick of it. And then, oh, oh, and now that, we not only didn't, we, I thought we were going to see, well, it was in that damn cage that Eric brings out every week. But no, all we do is that he gets his hand in there and it gets bit or cut or whatever. The whole damn universe wants to know what the fuck is in that cage. Now, next week, the, there's only one match. One match I'm looking forward to seeing, and it's that ladder match for the United States Championship against Andrade and Rey Mysterio. And Selena says that he's that Mysterio is a disgrace to his family, to his son, and to the Latinos. Andrade's the one who's a disgrace. Because last week he took Mysterio's mask off after the match. And you don't do that to a freaking luchador because that's part of the heritage. That's part of who they are when they get stepped in a wrestling ring. When they step in that ring, the mask represents their heritage, who they are, what they're fighting for, and they're proud to wear that mask for not only for them, but for the Latinos and then for their family as well. And they have the audacity to say that Mysterio is a disgrace to the Latin to the Latino race. Every damn arena I see Mysterio go in. Okay, he I even saw Mysterio fight on a Lucha Underground match. 
on YouTube. And he got respected there. So he is not a disgrace. So and drop so next week in that round match, I'm hoping, I pray to God, it is a good solid match. And I really do hope that they do not have Selena Vega and a fear because I just want it to be Andrade and Mysterio go at one on one and I want to see how well they do fighting each other in a ladder match without Selena Vega and a fairing. That's what I want to see. That's it. And I'm hoping that they do not tell Selena Vega and a fear so Andre so Andrade could win. Let him win the damn match on his own. Let him and Mysterio have a good wrestling match without in, let that bitch interfering. I'm sorry I'm still black. I know that's your wife and I apologize. But I just don't like it when there's a good match that Andrade has against someone and Selena has to interfere. Plain and simple. Okay, and if nobody didn't know, there, in a house show, there was a match between Roman Reigns and Baron Corbin, and the loser has to eat dog food. And I saw that part of the match on Twitter, and now Baron Corbin knows what it's like to eat freaking dog food, because Roman just shoved it in his face and had to make him eat it. I just hope at, at the War Rumble, this will be the end of the Corbin and Reigns feud. I just hope that's the end. And like I said before, if, I swear to God, if, if, but if they have Brock Lesnar, Win the fucking Royal Rumble match. I swear to God I'm going to go off the deep end. I am dead serious. I am getting sick and tired of them putting Brock Lesnar in. And it just freaking ruins everything. They know how to end, end the evening good. It starts off good and everything. But then when it comes to, close to the very end of... The last match, when it's the last match, the very end of either the pay-per-view or the television show, they have to ruin it. Look at the Hell in a Cell match between um, Seth Rollins and The Fiend. Seth Rollins fucking hit Fiend with a freaking ladder and... Whatever have you, he was hitting the fiend with. And the referee stopped the match right after Seth Rollins hit the fiend in the face with that one last thing with that sledgehammer. And they stopped the match. Then at the end, what happened? At the end, we saw fiend was fine. And the fiend gave, oh, um... Hit Rollins with Sister Abigail. I, I tell you, at almost at uh, almost at and uh, almost every pay per view now, WWE has to ruin it with stupid shit like that. We saw him do it with Brock Lesnar in that ladder match when. Freaking Ali was going to climb the ladder and get that briefcase so he could be the next person to go up against Coffee Kingston for the title. But no, nope, they had Lesnar come in at the last fucking minute not to be in for an entire, entire match from start to finish. Told him to run down there to the ring. Push the end of the ladder match, climb up the ladder, push all the way off of it, climb the ladder and get that damn briefcase. Then they had told Rollins to 
friggin' hit thing with the everything with like with everything with the including the kitchen sink and he hit him with the sledgehammer. That was it. They call the match off. But then when Fiend and Seth Rollins was out of here, the Fiend jumps up and gives Seth Rollins the freaking sister Abigail. They better not fuck this damn pay-per-view up. I am sick of this. This is 2020. WWE, this is 2020. A new year for you guys to start with every single pay-per-view from now on. Start fresh. Do not mess this up. If you have... It's like they messed that up with The Undertaker. Okay? He's already in the WWE Hall of Fame. And he went up against every single person. Shawn Michaels. Uh, Kane. In every single WrestleMania, uh, Triple H, and whoever went up against them at WrestleMania, never got defeated. Then all of a sudden, out of fucking nowhere, Brock Lesnar defeated um, um, Undertaker's streak. They couldn't let the Undertaker retire. Without losing a damn match at a WrestleMania event. Now, Undertaker has like what? Two or three losses in WrestleManias now. Still, it's, I mean, great. Undertaker's still going to go in the record books for winning that many WrestleMania matches and losing that many WrestleMania matches. It's going to go in the records book. It's not a shadow of a doubt. But couldn't they have it to where Undertaker could win all the WrestleManias and then he could retire and that'll be the end of it? No. They gotta have Brock Lesnar defeat the Undertaker. It is insane. Like I said, every, almost every single pay-per-view match, towards the end of the pay-per-view, they had to have a match that would have to screw the, the night up. Totally. So, are you like, are you like me into this? If Brock Lesnar wins the Royal Rumble, you, are you going to be freaking angry as hell? Are you going to like freaking go off the deep end? Get pissed off? I swear to God. And let me, and I need, for next week's match, next week's ladder match between Andrade and Rey Mysterio for the United States title. If Zelina Vega interferes, aren't you going to get a little bit pissed off as well? Because those two has had had great matches, but then all of a sudden they tell Selena Vega to fucking interfere, so this way Andrade could win. If she interferes with that ladder match, are you going to get pissed off as well? I know I will be. I just want WWE to start getting good pay-per-view matches. It starts off good in the beginning, but then towards the end, they have some way, they have, somehow they have to, have to fuck it up. They have their moments where some of the pay-per-views they have were really good and everything. But now it's starting to suck. I mean, we're all getting sick and tired of it. Um, I'm going to end the video here because I'm giving myself a friggin' headache because I'm getting so pissed off at what happened on Raw and a couple of things happened on Raw tonight and what might happen at War Rumble and everything so if you have any comments about what I just discussed write it in the comment section below this video and I will get back to you and tell you my honest truest opinion about it so with that being in mind I'll see you in my next video and that's the bottom line because I said so.